Hey, happy campers. Todd here at Great American RV Superstores. Today we want to talk about mm, probably everybody's least favorite part of camping, black tanks. All right, we're going to teach you how to flush it properly, how to drain everything out, keep it clean so you don't have any solids left in there, and uh, make sure that maintenance wise you're taken care of because nobody wants to deal with the expense of, of a, a messed up black tank. All right, so let's watch and learn. So starting off, if it comes to the event where you have to empty your black tank or you're into your trip, whatever the case may be, first step is pull the valve. Make sure your valve is completely open, let it drain down your hose to your septic. And this elbow right here is really cool because it's clear, gives you an idea of all the stuff that's coming out even though nobody really wants to see it, you kind of do because this gives you an idea of when your tank is actually clean. So this is an awesome little component to throw in your box and make sure you have whenever you're out camping. It makes it a lot easier to do this and, and uh, get an empty tank reading. We have a lot of customers come in and they complain that their tanks are reading two-thirds full or all the way full and they're absolutely positive that everything's out of their tank when in reality the tank actually has stuff stuck to the sides. So these solids are, are stuck to the sensors that are on the side of the tank. All it takes is a little piece of tissue paper to get stuck on there and the whole thing redrawn. So simple solution is we're gonna learn how to properly flush our tanks. So after you've done that uh, immediate dump from the majority of the solids that are in there, close it off. Okay, close your tank off. Now I know that the label up here is going to tell you only to be flushed out when that valve is open, but I'm going to tell you this, there's this way to do it and there's that way to do it. This way to do it, you have to watch your meter on the inside of your camper. So we'll take a look at that too. So once that valve is closed, we're going to go ahead and turn our water on and we're going to come over here and we're just going to chill out pick up a few things around our camper. I'm gonna go be checking the meter every couple minutes and make sure that we're watching that meter. And once it gets to one thirds, two thirds, I pretty much stop after a few minutes to two thirds. I don't like to get mine too close to full because if you do, it will back up into your camper. So don't take that chance. Once it gets up uh, full enough, then we we'll wanna come back, open that valve, and we're gonna drain it again. For me, personally, I've been camping for 10 years. I take about two to three, maybe even four flushes before I'm satisfied with the ending of, of flushing the tanks, okay? Because I don't want anything left in there. So once we're done and I, I'm confident there's nothing left, I can see in my tube, everything's nice, clean, and clear, then I'm good with it. I close my valve off. I put probably about maybe a gallon of water. I, I turn my, my flush back on and I leave about a gallon of water in there. I turn my flush off and that's a wrap. I go inside, I drop a little chemical tablet in the tank because even when I'm storing it, I still want that chemical in there because there's still gonna be a little residue, a little stuff in there. That chemical helps eat all that up, keeps your tank smelling good. That way the next time you go out to use it, you're not smelling last time's camping trip. So nobody wants all that stuff. So once that's all done, here's another cool tip. The night before or before the last person takes a shower, go and close your gray tank valve. This will allow you to get you know, a few gallons of water in that gray tank after a shower, and then after you're done flushing out your black tank, you can pull that gray tank valve, and that'll actually clean your hose. Nice soapy water and everything. So we've gone through all the steps. Remember one more time, I'm gonna advise you that this is the pro level way of flushing your tanks, the most efficient way but like I said, the manufacturers are gonna advise you to leave that valve open so you don't overflow your tanks. If you do, this is on you, okay? Once again, pro level tip here, all right? But it's the best way to resolve the situation. Hope you enjoyed our video and click subscribe, do all those fun things on YouTube to make sure you follow us and you don't miss the next video here. Great American RV Superstores where we bring the how-to to you.